Hi, Linda Bowney here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. It's Tuesday in Creative Fold, and today I'm going to be sharing an uneven Z-Fold card. Um, just a fun way uh, to show off some designer series paper. The designer series paper that I am using today is the Abigail Rose. Now, I am working on a tutorial, customer appreciation tutorial for the Cottage Rose Bundle for next month, and I am in love with the paper. Now you can see the flowers in uh, the stamp set are not really the same flowers that you see in this um, sheet of designer series paper, but I'm going to show you a fun way um, to use them. So what I have is three sheets of that designer series paper. This one measures two and three eighths by five and a quarter. This one's two and an eighth by five and a quarter. And then I have a one and three eighths uh, by five and a quarter. Then I took a piece of Whisper White. This is two and five eighths by five and a quarter. I have already run it through my Time Warner uh, 3D and folder, and I did the technique I shared um, a few weeks ago where I used the blending brushes and the direct to ink pad uh, to the folder uh, technique. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. And then I took um, Early Espresso and did the die cuts from um, that cottage rose and cut out three of the outlines with that um, espresso um, cardstock. So we are going to bring in our trimmer and we are going to actually score our card just with two um, sizes, um, just the Oops, got a piece of paper in there. The one and three eighths, so you want to put that in your trimmer all the way to the top, line it up. I've got one and three eighths, and we are going to score it. And then finally at four and a quarter um, to form our normal card size. So we've got, like I said, an uneven gatefold. And what we're going to do first is on this side, we are going to use uh, that piece of basic white. Again, I ran it through the Time Warner 3D folder and used my blending brushes and direct to ink pad a technique. So we are just going to put that right along the edge there. Hopefully I've got, oops, I don't think I have that even. Let's try it again. Over here maybe a little bit more. So there we've got that. Then I am going to grab my biggest piece, the two and three eighths um, by five and a quarter, and I just want to put adhesive on this one side here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my adhesive on my flap rather than my designer series paper so that I make sure I get it where I want. I want to line it up so that I've got that nice border going around. So I want the border, the quarter inch border, on all four sides. So I've got it along here and then also along here. I'm going to grab that piece of basic white. This was a one and three quarter by five and a quarter and I want it to line up with the edge of that designer series paper. So I'm just going to add it right there so that I make sure it's nice and even. Now I wanted to add these die cuts. So I'm going to grab some glue dots and kind of fold that stem or let's just kind of pull that stem off. And what we're going to do is we're going to tuck those flowers down in along that designer series paper. Just a fun way to use those outline 
dies. Sometimes I have struggle what what to do with them. They are good for layering, um, but I wanted to use it on this card because it just needed a little border, and I just thought this was a great way to use them. So there we've got that one. And then we've got one more, but I don't know what I did with the other one. Hmm, it's around here somewhere. Well, we'll just leave those for now. In fact, that may even work out a little bit better than my sample that I did. Now, what I'm going to be doing, we have several dies in the Stampin' Up! catalog that are very easy to miss as they're standalone dies, meaning that they don't have a stamp set that go with them. Um, and one of those is called the Daclid Rectangles. And so they've really got a fun little scallop edge around the edge. So I've already taken one and did the basic white and the early espresso. So I'm going to go in with my stamp set um, from that set. And I'm just using the Feel Better real soon. So I've stamped that up. I knew that flower would show up sooner or later. I'm going to use my dimensionals because I cut a layering one of those deco rectangles and we're going to add that right about there and then we're going to put that on my front of my card I apologize the maintenance decided to mow the lawn so if you hear the lawnmower that is what's going on so we've got that maybe I see I have a little shadowing there so I wonder if I can take my flower and hide that and it doesn't look like I can so that's okay we're going to leave that as is going to grab the glue dot and just put that other die cut on my card and kind of slip it on. Probably would have been easier if I had put this on my designer series paper first. But there we've got that. Then I'm going to come in and grab my iridescent rhinestones and I'm going to use that to cover up my little blurp there with the ink pad. What is it? No mistakes in hand stamping, just reason to embellish. And so that's what I'm going to do here, like so. And then I'm going to go in and add my other two pieces of designer series paper on the inside. Again, leaving that nice little border. Going to add that. Hmm, that doesn't seem to want to work here. We'll just grab our glue. I think I kind of pushed it back on itself because I was in a hurry trying to get through the lawnmower. Um, but I guess I'm not going to make that. I hear them buzzing along. But there we have a fun uneven Z fold using the new Abigail Rose designer series paper. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.